I now request the distinguished delegate of Iran to make a statement. Madam President, I congratulate you on your election as the president of this session in the General Assembly. I hope that the decisions and initiatives taken by this assembly play an effective role in resolving the problems that our world is currently facing. Today, on behalf of Iran, I am here to bring some awareness on terrorism. Fifteen years have passed since the shocking terrorist attack in the New York City. It, on that day, no one had imagined that this occurrence would lead to future disasters resulting in devastating war in the Afghanistan and Middle East. Today, the most pressing issue that we should consider in the, is the approaches and policies that we should take against these disastrous actions. Security has become a global problem when the major powers are concentrating only on increasing their methods of repression and military intervention. The terrorists even went as far as claiming the states of Iraq and Libya. More unfortunately, they hide their nefarious intentions behind religious literature, the stirring a compassionate religion into an instrument of terror and violence. Ladies and gentlemen, we could not allow these insecurities and conflicts to expand further. Today, hatred and violence in North Africa and Middle East is spreading like a wildfire. This region is stuck in web of savage and destructive policies. Millions of Syrians are estranged in deserts and high seas. Thousands of them are subjected to violent deaths. Iraq, as if every ethnic group is concerned about their territorial integrity and the future of their homeland. The helpless people of Yemen are subjected to daily bombardments. The oppressed Palestinians are still afflicted by apartheid policies and atrocities. The solutions to the problems in the Middle East would not happen under the establishment of a Palestinian state with the borders of 1967 and East Jerusalem as the capital. I also call the speedy implementation of the resolution 242 and 338. If the Saudi government is serious about its vision for development in region of security, it must cease itself from divisive policies, spread of hate ideology, and trampling about the right of the neighbors. And to the knowledge of UAE, you must recognize our sovereignty over the disputed lands. Madam President, I am speaking on behalf of a great nation that few years ago voted for the constructive engagement with the world. This national will resulted in the joint comprehensive plan of action between the Islamic Republic of Iran and six world powers, which was turned into an international instrument with the ratification of the United Nations Security Council. However, Iran has never had the intention of producing a nuclear weapon and therefore sanction against sanction resolutions against Iran are unjust and illegal. But these sanctions never affected the policies that we adopted and the approaches that we took for negotiation. We have proved that there is nothing in the table of Iran other than logic, reason, and ethics. From our point of view, the agreed deal is not the final objective, but a development which can serve the basis of further achievements. As we all know, the greatest and biggest threat to the world is terrorist organizations. We propose that the fight against terrorism be incorporated into a binding international document and no country be allowed to use terrorism for the purpose of intervention of affairs into another country. Excellencies, to conclude, let me emphasize that despite all hardships, I deeply believe that moderation will prevail over extremism, peace will triumph over violence, enlightenment will overcome ignorance, and finally, justice will rise above injustice. And there is no doubt that the God will help those who assist him in establishing peace and justice. The Lord is strong and mighty. Thank you, Madam President.